hello everyone, I'm Speed2 and welcome to cast of uh, 2v2 WWPC games that were played in week 3. Uh, I'm gonna start with under 1200 uh, division and the champions there are Greenio and Green Nymph and the challengers are Copa and Turkey so let's start with their games and let's go directly for the first one Okay, so this is the first game from the under 1200 division uh, final. It's gonna be a best of five. And so in the top team, we have uh, Raging Copa and Turkey. And I will also uh, put some music on. Resources, okay, so um, bottom team green nymph and greenium and I guess I'm gonna speed up to plus one right now So we have a seraphim and the UEF against the uh, UEF it Might be interesting And uh, let's see some plan uh, It's running away spam t1. I saw a spam t1 so a good choice Okay, so uh, to the map, it's 5 km map, uh, pretty much uh, you need to expand to the side to get those extra maxes since you have only 5 at your starting location and the others are a bit more vulnerable. And also at this location there are some T2 wrecks you want to reclaim, 5 of them, and also some additional uh, reclaim in rocks. And T2 get home from Copa might come so can be interesting match okay so the reclaim is on the sides it looks like there's also some uh, units in the middle but those are just the ones so well they also worth some mass so good to get them but uh, the main target should be try to get reclaim on these okay so we have a first lap from Greenio he will try to catch NG over here, but might get spotted by Turkey. Uh, no, it's just outside of the range. But uh, ASU is moving there, so that's not gonna be any issue. Uh, NG already moving this location, I guess going for the reclaim. So that's uh, the thing what you need to do. Send the NG and get the mass. So this is successfully defended. And also Green is sending. NG, so these two guys know what to do, getting the mask already. Uh, Kopa is already here with his NG as well, but uh, he's a bit late. He might get a bit of them and the tank will kill this NG, so should be able to take the corner position. So like AC is gonna go to the middle. And Raging Kupa going for T2 max right now. And more NGs and some NTs. And ACU from Turkey is going to this expansion, so Griena is gonna be a bit later. He might try to get a PD there. Should have time. Well, not anymore. My pad Griena is gonna build that max, but he's gonna leave that at NGs. And also. T2 max from uh, Green New, so it's gonna be more uh, tech on the left side, more eco, and already four factories here for Turkey, and two factories, and another two started, looks like some NG died. Okay, Green New is just sitting in the middle, getting the reclaim. Uh, Looks like Kappa should be able to secure this position without any fight, so that's good for him. He didn't get the reclaim, but he will get 
uh, the Maxes and also the rest of the Reclaim. You know, Teruki is trying to get a PD and looks like he's gonna be successful since Greenia is targeting his ACU, so he will manage to secure this position for now. Uh, looks like some reinforcements coming but just uh, two tanks. The rest is just anti-air so that's not gonna be that good. And Turkey also bringing his units and Greenleaf is actually moving his ACU here as well. So might be two versus one. And Koppa is already going for the T2 air so he will try to get him. But I guess he would also need uh, one extra plant factory to produce those McMarines faster. And since there is not too much air, just um, like two inties for now, he might be successful with it. But actually, uh, Greenia is going air on his own, so first Koopa will need to secure air, so he's going for that, building more inties. Looks like he haven't built uh, Maxis at this position yet. Looks like Green Nymph is just gonna deny this mix and now he's trying to cut off turkey but um, he's retreating it's gonna be close um, but he should be able to get away from there or well, maybe not let's see uh, Green should not be able to catch up with him depends how well okay they so this is a bit bad for turkey but he's bringing more units so might survive it and also green if shooting green here right now which is not have to think too much so he's in full retreat building a pd some bombering coming as well he needs to be running but green is also going low with hp so successfully defended and now Koppa is gonna try to secure air but the problem is that they still have quite a lot of anti-air on the ground so let's see how that works so first getter is being loaded, but I guess he would need to to kill the ACU right now. So hopefully he's gonna wait for another one as well. I don't think uh, one is enough. And there are still some inties and the anti-air. And he's actually choosing to target the ACU with uh, more HP. Yeah, but then the HP is going down quite fast. Uh, so let's see what's gonna happen. Depends if the yeah now is using the get top for killing units or maybe it's just a stupid unit, stupid target priority and it's almost dead. He needs to drop it right now and too late. Okay, so that didn't work out. He managed to get him at like half HP. So good try. I guess if he waited for another one as well, it might be more successful. Now he's gonna go for Ganchi, but there's still quite a lot of AA in this area. And since there was one unsuccessful attempt already, they're gonna build definitely more anti-air or interceptors themselves. Okay, so now Turkey is pushing directly in a base, but um, he won't kill too much. There's gonna be T2 bot ready, so not too much damage he can do with all those units, should be easy to defend. Uh, not too many artillery, so uh, maybe he needs to target some Maxis or Hydro to actually do something. Looks like he's gonna do that. And now Koppa is bringing his Nganchi to do some additional damage. Okay, so T2 Max is down, now the is also gonna go down, so it wasn't uh, but useless as I thought. So at least something. Uh, now Turkey is gonna go with his ACU and he has a gun. Meanwhile Greenio is just um, building anti-air so he may catch him uh, and surprise him maybe. That would be quite easy to kill him. Also building quite a lot of units. Uh, gunships are gonna retreat so Koopa is saving them. But there is too much anti-air at this position, but if he just waits for Turkey to come in and kill the anti-air, then he may use them. But he needs to keep his air closed and flying directly there is not a solution. 
let's, let's see. Looks like a yeah, green or so that on radar that uh, Turkey is coming. So should be able to retreat in time. But look at it. It's just anti-air. I guess he uh, misclicked it and built accidentally too much anti-air. But he needs units right now. At least he won't get sniped by air. But uh, right now nothing to stop this AC with gun. Meanwhile, on the left side, uh, Kopa is still able to have this position. Uh, I would say for free, since he was doing just air, so some simple land push, few artilleries to kill the PDs would solve that. So now some units are moving that direction. Gilinia is gonna retreat, and I guess Druki should be pushing right now since he has a gun. He can leave the NGs to. Uh, build maxes and stuff and just use this AC offensively till he can. It's like uh, first T2 bots from green are on the right side. She's not gonna really stop Turkey if he has overcharge. But he needs to stay in the front with his army to defend it. These PDs are gonna go down, but this is just artillery. Some of the tanks might actually kill something. Depends if Kupa micro them. And also bring in the gunships to defend it. Okay, so the units are moving in slowly. But they really need to wait for the ACU since this is uh, basically just anti air. Rinio is almost full health again, but uh, he does not have a gun, so it might be a problem for him. It's like Koppa is still in the base, and T2 land as well, and going for T3 straight away. It looks like he has the best eco. Okay, so now Turkey is here with his gun. And right now really uh, not too much to stop him, there is some TNT going up, but uh, that won't stop the ACU. So that might be a problem from Greenio, and uh, those T2 bots won't change too much. Um, I guess T2 PD is really needed, or maybe more. And Greenio uh, needs to run, but he's getting blocked by his whole factories. He's trying to get away, but... Uh, not too successful. Yeah, again, she has pretty much no chance against all this anti air. So, I guess this is gonna be soon the first kill. I don't see a way out for Greenia. Turkey is still uh, full HP, got some veterans already. Two NGs are gonna go down, just uh, two pillars to defend right now, and not too many. And Greenin is gonna send his ACU, but that's also without a gun. Yeah, he just needs to cope with his ACU right now. He still has quite a lot of units as reinforcements, but looks like he got scared by those two ACUs, so he's gonna retreat, maybe. We should be focusing on right now and kill him. Otherwise he's gonna run out of units and the T2 PD is gonna be there soon as well. So two uh, half dead ACUs instead of one that would be already dead. I guess he could just stay there and uh, if he kills one and explode he'll also kill another one to uh, spare a few shots on Greenio as well, so he can just sacrifice and kill them both with the explosion if he wants to. But looks like Greenio is gonna go down uh, right now, and that might kill Green Nymph as well. Let's see. Okay, I didn't kill him, but. Uh, He's almost dead anyway. Okay, so now he's gonna come in. Uh, he doesn't need to, so they are giving up. Uh, so Kappa and Tur giving in the game one. Let's get to a second game. Uh, 
and the second game not sure what map that was I haven't seen it yet So second game from under 12 under division and first game was won by Copa and Turkey so they are in lead and we are on twin rivers and again we have UEF and Seraphim on one side and this time Copa going for Aeon and Turkey for Seraphim let's see how that's gonna go okay so for this map what you need to know are the reclaim spots pretty much uh, the first that you wanna get uh, are these T2 transport the that flag I would say I guess it's flag and some of the mech marines and then pretty much around every of this hill there are some rocks that you also wanna get that can boost your eco quite nicely so as you can see that's uh, pretty much what you need to get and also uh, getting an island is a nice bonus so especially at on um, 2v2 i guess um second air is definitely an option and trying to secure one of the islands or maybe both so green is going for the reclaim by the way it uh, looks like uh, Coppa is gonna try he will try to deny the NG, I guess, but uh, it's a bit too late since Green is already here and with a tank as well. And Green Eve is not even trying to get the reclaim. So, players that had closer and just went for it, and uh, Copa not really successful with this lap. The other one going for this expansion might kill NG over there, and Green Eve already going for a wall. So after this flare there shouldn't be anything that would uh, come through. This should be win by the UEF maybe, oh, chill enough. So 3 kills already for RAM. Uh, but uh, Green if exactly know where the tank is. So let's see, Turkey is going for a second air. Copa already has a second air and building a bomber, also expanding to the back and he's going for the hydro. On this side uh, Greeno is also going second air, finishing the wall and the flare did kill the NG and might even kill this max and I guess would still have the time to uh, run in a back if uh, Copa wants to or he's just gonna retreat. To the back and hope that uh, Greenia will think that he's already in the back. It's also one way to do it. So Bomber is incoming right now and everyone went for a second air but Greenia is going straight for a transport. The radar is down, uh, some micro maybe, okay, uh, no micro. This flare is gonna get killed after three factories and uh, Koppa is moving his AC to the middle and Turkey is doing the same he already has a transport loading all the two NGs and going for the island meanwhile Green Nymph is just the transport but um, not really NGs to load it with so he didn't really uh, think this through too much he has T2 max already so Turkey should be able to get this island for now And now he's building more NGs and another factory. And looks like a Green is not really going to take the back. Maybe he just lost the NG that was uh, planned to go there. And also this max is untaken for now. And Copa 
also not exactly taken in the back. Uh, looks like there, he just led the half of the Maxis for him, but uh, Koppa thinks about another air factory for now. Okay, so those two engines are on the island. On the bottom side uh, I saw a transport at the factory on the top, but Turkey is already sending engines there. And no transport for Greenio yet. And this transport is now finally getting loaded after another minute. So let's see where he's gonna drop. I guess he will need some scout to see that there are already NGs. Maybe some bomber to deny it, but the uh, factory is already in place. Getting some reclaim from it. And Turkey is also gonna be successful on this island. So dropping some tanks uh, with the NGs or artillery would be nice. Also one thing you can do, but uh, not really uh, as a Seraphim, you can uh, also load some mech marines or some labs to your transport. I guess green you could give them, so when you drop the NGs, uh, you also can use your transport as a Keto gunship to kill the enemy NGs. That's a nice thing to do. So Koppa is pushing through with a few auroras with scout so he has definitely do intel so he can guide this army uh, not too many units from green over this position but he has his acu but uh, that is a bit slower so some of these aura might get in the back and there's nothing to stop them right now um, but maybe green if it's gonna be able to, yeah, it's able to counter that just one hour left but that is gonna get killed. Some micro, but uh, Greenio was more successful. Okay, so it looks like Turkey has no issues securing this top island and not even attempt to drop the bottom one. So it's gonna get both of the islands for now. Let's see some T2. Well, actually. Koppa is going straight for T3 land, but I guess he's gonna need that T2 power for that. Uh, right now, not really since he's a uh, mass telling. Looks like the tr uh, rocks are reclaimed over this position, so he got them already. Some are left at this position and over here in the middle, so still some mass to get on the map. So he's really rushing the T3 right now. Uh, let's see what's this. Looks like NG for the reclaim. Well, on the other side, uh, Turkey is doing good job reading and he's even dropping uh, tanks to the back. And there are some T2 mechs really unprotected and he took artillery as well. So he might just kill them all right now. Which is really bad for green since he invested quite a lot into those. And he is on T2 land right now and going for T2 air as well. Building a PD. I guess this T2 but should be able to defend this easily. And Kappa is on upgrade, he's getting a gun. Not sure which one, maybe both eventually. So one max is down, another is gonna follow. Green if it's trying to get a PD, but the artillery will kill it easily. Meanwhile, Turkey with uh, most of the mass everywhere looks like he's not on T2 yet. He's getting an upgrade, he's getting a T2 on ACU. Greenio is pushing to the front with a gun, but. Uh, Koppa also have some gun, looks like he got just the range for now. And the T3 is finished, also the T2 power, so he should be able to supply this easily. So let's see what he's gonna do. I guess the sniper bot would be nice now, since Green is so much in the front. Uh, Harbring gun, I guess it's not, not the best solution unless he drop it in a, in a base. But for killing Greenio, a uh, sniper would be nice. 
since there is not really any army that could uh, kill it and also Koopa has his ACU there so I guess getting another gun as well not really a need to build a PD let's see what Koopa knows well he knows there's really nothing no units just ACU so the PD is not really needed since he already has the range upgrade so that's an advantage over Greenio T2 air got pinged so gunships uh, green imp is going for gunships but he doesn't really have uh, any air to support it and there's quite a lot of air from turkey and uh, he's just building pds and should be able to defend this well actually uh, greenio is coming from the other side right now so he needs to be building pds everywhere but he has still quite a lot of units to defend with as well and now looks like he's focusing Green Nymph and also the artillery is killing him and he died mostly to that RT. It was unnecessary damage he took from it. And Greeno is not also too healthy and deciding to control K. So it was the second game, uh, second victory for Koopa and Turkey. Let's go straight for the third game that my decide. Yeah, and the third game is gonna be on Syracuse Major. Okay, so Greenio staying as UEF. Uh, Green Nymph with Seraphim. Koppa staying at Aeon. And Turkey with UEF. Okay, so for this map, what do you need to know again? The reclaim spots, like uh, one obvious, is directly in the middle that you need to kill. It's protected just by two PDs, so easy to get with artillery and get the reclaim from it. And then, pretty much around every hill, you can find all those little rocks. So, that's what you need to pay attention for and get the reclaim from it. So Gupa is going straight for the Hydro and I guess um, since this is again 2v2 some second air is gonna be a nice to see and Green is gonna go second air and using a factory attack move to get the reclaim from the NGs that uh, have some time before he gives them some other build so they will reclaim few of those rocks so that's what you can do just to get a factory attack move so before you set some more orders the NGs will get some of the reclaim that is around okay so second air uh, green nymph I'm not sure what he's gonna do yet didn't really queue up yet let's see already has some NG on the reclaim so he will have enough mass looks like uh, he's gonna go directly to build the factories on the top with distance build and he's uh, choosing to build two factories at once but uh, it's better to finish one and then get another since now he's gonna have two unfinished factories what looks like pretty much the same is gonna happen on this side as well so re not really any disadvantage and attack moves everywhere to get the reclaim meanwhile Koopa already with an uh, air factory bomber is out followed by scout so he's gonna have good intel 
this NG is definitely in danger of dying and now Bomber for Greeny as well and he's choosing to build these uh, factories at the bottom I guess it's better to build them in a, at the top with the distance build from the ACO to build like two factories at the top so one NG is down uh, this is nice target and Greeny is not really dodging so four NGs looks like at least one NG died for Kappa as well but uh, these three NGs building all the factories was uh, quite a huge loss and the bomber is not done yet so five NGs already some micro and bomb off looks like he's targeting the power so he's gonna get the power and maybe even the G so nine kills already so Kappa quite destroying Greeny with one bomber and these are not really after the bomber he may try to get some more kills on it okay so 10 kills some more micro 11 yeah, so I, I would say Kyopak pretty much deciding the game with this bomber. Twelve kills and finally the bomber gets killed. So nice micro from Kopa. And on the other side we have a bomber that might be successful as well. Five kills. Yeah, if you, if you see bomber with this incoming to your base you really need to move your NGs, try to dodge, split them so things like this won't happen to you but yeah that bomber definitely killed much more than it should have on the other side we have a tank gonna repay and kill some of Turkey's NGs but he's dying to artillery so Turkey is going for the middle mass. Green Nymph is deciding to build the maxes. I guess it's better to just move the middle and let the NGs to get these maxes. So we don't need to waste time with AXU there. You can use it in middle lane combat and that would be much better. And you can see the score difference. Green is really behind. Still didn't get too much factories, uh, not even any eco yet. Meanwhile, Kopa already got a T2 max, uh, getting another one, and second air factory as well. So Turkey is getting all the mass from the middle for free. He doesn't have too many units on the left side, he's just building maxes from it right now. But um, really nothing to stop this push for now. And he went directly for T2 land in the back. But he might actually lose those maxes. Well, I guess not, this is just tanks. If there were more artillery, he would easily kill all these T2 maxes. But unfortunately there are none. Some pigeons were given to green you, so maybe he's on an upgrade. No, I guess he just needed energy. Yeah, looks like uh, green you forgot to build energy on this map. Meanwhile, Turkey just getting the middle, he got the flag, so some nice uh, cover for him. But uh, Green Nymph and Green are not really going for air right now. Kupa is just sitting here with ACU, got a T2 land. Green Nymph, no upgrade yet. On ACU, he got T2 land as well. Yeah, these factories are gonna go down, but there, now there's a pillar that should be able to clean this. And Factory is actually gonna survive, well, not for too long. 
and he, uh, Green Imp was already push also pushing with his ACU, those TG tanks wouldn't be really a problem and he could easily kill these maxes since uh, Turkey's ACU is out of position totally. It's just uh, building factories for now in the middle. On the other side, uh, Koppa is pushing and since he has Avaraz he has a bigger range of this than this ACU. So you can just stay on range and yeah, he already forced Greenio to cancel this upgrade. And Greenio, well he has 7 units to defend so he should be fine. But I guess he a bit forgot them. So this was unnecessary loss of HP. And some energy storage, so he's definitely thinking about the gun. But it's better to get the storage before you start it, so it actually fills up. Let's see what Koppa is doing. He's also going for a gun. He has a T2 LAN, TMD already, building a T2 pigeon, so. He's gonna have enough energy for overcharges, looks like he's also leading in economy. Greenio is still the last. And now he's gonna get the gun. So the Auras will be a nice veteran tip from him, for him, since a UVF ACU can one-shot them with a gun. On the other side, uh, Turkey is still in the middle, he's getting a T2 on his ACU and got a T2, T2 factories, but still nothing, no units coming through the middle. He, uh, like one artillery on one tank could easily clean this position and force both of these players to send something there. Now Greenio has the gun, so this arm is gonna disappear fast and also he has enough energy the obsidian will also be no problem but he's gonna need his army with him his army is just sitting in at the bottom for no reason and the tml I'm not sure what he's gonna target since there is already a tmd so well maybe he can try to kill turkey not really he's shooting somewhere at this position but the TMD is there so that's not gonna be a problem now he's just getting veterans from these units and finally bringing his army yes and this is successfully de defended he could try to fire a missile on this ACU to stop the upgrade. And so like Copa has the, at least the fire rate. So if he is in close range he will have same DPS as Greenia. And um, just four obsidians for now. If Greenia is able to overcharge them he should have no problems. And Koppa is going again directly for T3, so Grio needs to be pushing fast if he wants to get something done. On this side, a full T2 spam from Turkey and T2 units from Greenim, but he's really placing his PD on wrong position. As you can see, Seraphim PD is just can't shoot there. And Koppa is still leading in mass. So he will have enough to defend and build these T3 units. Vienna is overcharging the T3 tank, he needs to kill that PD as well. And now he's also bringing some T2 units. Looks like Koppa is gonna need a few more PDs, or he can actually die here. I guess if Vienna wanted, he could kill him right now before some T3 units are on the field. 
So if he just focuses him, it looks like he's getting the power. He's trying to kill the power. He needs to bring his T2 units. He got some definitely more veterans in than Koopa, but now T2 units are in his base, so soon there's not gonna be any reinforcements. Harbring got overcharged, but he's quite low on HP, so this might be a draw, and looks like this is gonna be a draw. And that's not really uh, good for Green Nymph, since uh, Turkey is already securing the middle. Some TML, I guess. Uh, killing his maxes, and also this position is gonna be secured by Turkey, so he's gonna have a free way, free way for victory, I guess, unless Green Eve has some, a really good plan to kill him. GG Maxes are gonna go down, it's like... Yeah, now all the army is moving in his base and he has nothing to stop it with. And he didn't even do too much progress at this position, just defending and building those PDs. So I guess he's gonna mm, give up soon. He's gonna lose his T2 power right now, which will put him behind again. And he really needs that power. Trying to build the gunships, but that's not gonna work. Also, Turkey has quite a lot of air himself. And Flak is there as well. factory is down, uh, Pigeon is gonna follow soon. Now Green if is trying to get a T2 run factory here, but it's gonna be successful but there's still a lot of units and no TMD so all the maxes are gonna go down. Like um, This one is secured by the landscape and no TMD. TML can really hit it, so that one is safe at least. Not, in, not enough energy, not enough mass, so can't really do anything about this. And Turkey is successfully uh, securing this position of NGs. Now this army is finally coming, I guess. Yeah, the shield providing some extra protection against these T2 bots, so no damage done yet. You can just move in with everything and kill the best base finally, so we can move to another game. Or first, I'm gonna take a small break. So next games are gonna be from uh, under 1800 division. I'm gonna stream all the uh, knockouts and the final. 
Japan, now he deciding to end it. So I'm gonna take like five minutes break, then I'm gonna be back to continue. Okay, so see you in five minutes.
Okay, so welcome back to some more WWPC games. Now I'm gonna cast uh, games from under 1800 division. We're gonna start with Knockout. So first game is gonna be uh, Manrit and Freedom Fighter versus Party Time and Sir Price. So let's go directly for that. Uh, current champions uh, in these divisions are Mephi and Silent. I don't actually remember if they got the title already or they have it for the first time. Um, we would have, have to ask Takito about that. So let's go for the first game. Okay, so we are on this uh, map. Let's see the name. Uh, <coughs> Canyon Rage version 2. Not gonna really try to read it. So, quite interesting map for 2v2. Uh, you have uh, pretty much uh, three volleys where you can go left, middle, and the right side. Uh, quite a lot of maxes pretty much everywhere. Looks like one expansion to the left. That should be uh, fairly easy to secure since it looks like the only way to get there is uh, through there and that's very really close to your starting location so that should be easy to defend these positions pretty much the same on the other side and also this expansion looks a bit more vulnerable but that's also quite close so with some radar you can spot some enemy units in time so the teams are the surprise going UEF with party time is going uh, Cyber, and they are facing uh, Manrit, UEF and Freedom Fighter Cyber. So same factions on both sides. I'm gonna speed it up at the beginning. Looks like uh, Surprise is gonna go for the Hydro and second air. Um, so there is the reclaim, some trees and rocks uh, in between them. Also I see a few rocks over this position, so looks like you might get the reclaim pretty much everywhere where you see the trees. And of course something in the middle, but okay so at this at least at these plateaus so you can get those and Party time is gonna use the distance build to get the factory faster there. So for now, uh, looks like Banner is gonna try to raid a bit. Freedom Fighter is just securing this position for now, making sure now no air deal up would sneak through. But I guess uh, the more dangerous way to raid is uh, with bombers. So. Uh, second air should be there for everyone and looks like that's exactly what they're gonna do uh, Top team is starting with Inti first at the bottom. We have already bomber for party time and Also bomber for surprise, so they are going more aggressively Looks like this bomber is gonna get spotted by uh, this tank and scout and Inti is already on the case so that won't do too much damage that's successfully defended and on the other side freedom fighter is exactly knows what to expect already have into a disposition let's see if he pays attention to that as well See what the bomber is gonna target. It's focusing uh, the scout, so nice diversion. And this bomber also not gonna be successful. Best factory here already, so this tank won't do too much damage. And party time is doing nice thing, just hiding behind the factory. Both ACUs are going in the middle for bottom team. Looks like. Uh, we're gonna see the same 
on the top as well. Uh, Freedom Fighter is a bit later on building the factory on the top. On the expansion, looks like a bit more even. Just a party time managed to sneak some mantis there already. Looks like one is damaged, so if he keeps them together, it might be even fight, but uh, not really. That's not happening, so that's gonna be easily defended by Manrate, but he's gonna take another minute to walk there with the NG, so delaying the expansion successfully. Surprise is gonna be first in the middle, but Party Time is the one who's gonna take the Maxus for now. And building a wall already to secure this position. Looks like the majority of the spam is gonna be from the bottom. I guess it would be uh, better to build it just on the top, so all the units doesn't need to go such a distance. Uh, but then he would need to use them in the middle. And looks like, well, Party Time actually is gonna build a wall, so he's not too interesting in raiding on the left side, so the factories at the top would be a better choice. And also, a nice thing to do right now would be so get some T2 on one of the ACUs or a gun and do it really fast so you have some advantage over your opponent since uh, all ACUs are here and for now I would say pretty much similar forces maybe just a little bit more units for the top team but since freedom fighter is not participating in this fight yet it doesn't matter too much and now party time actually is shooting his ally not the best coordination but for now they need to be retreating and i guess first they should focus the units and then the acu so both sidebands acu already in yellow steer price as well and it is still at full hp but right now more units are for bottom team, so if they keep their units close to the ACU they should be fine. And streaming more and more units, quite a lot of T1 land spam for both of these guys. And actually party time uh, changed his opinion and going for T2, it's already T2 factory at place. And now they have much more units over here, so they might push back and maybe even clean this position on the top depends if there's gonna get a pd built not yet he can just uh, surprise can move all his units right now and he's gonna be still safe still since party time have a lot of units there and t2 units from manreed and just one for now but more coming looks like he's gonna go more on t2 yeah, already two factories on T2 and getting third one as well. Uh, no ICU upgrade yet. Um, Steel price should be able to kill this position easily. And I guess what they could be doing is just attack right now since they still have more units and ACU still have some HP with some overcharges they should be fine. And actually right now if they pushed directly over this position and they would force Manrit uh, to retreat since he doesn't really have too much units and suddenly Freedom Fighter would be alone and he would have nowhere to retreat so then they could just send all the units on top and kill him easily but I guess they uh, don't see this opportunity since party time still has his units in the back and they're not pushing too much they still have time to do that Manri is even retreating right now so his ally is quite a bit in the danger but they need to be pushing directly in and cut away his way to retreat and freedom fighter not really even deciding to try to run back here okay so i would say bottom team had a chance to win the game right now but uh, they're not really going for that they have still quite a lot of units if they do it right now they should be still able to kill him with some focus fire with that many units and two acus 
not sure what they're waiting for. See, they have the radar coverage, so... But not the vision over the ACU, maybe they don't know this is the ACU. And these T2 units, the uh, longer they wait, the more troubles they will have with them. But they still have two ACUs and enough energy to overcharge. Okay, so now they see the AC unit is standing here, also on this AC is on upgrade, so this is either the time to push or do upgrade themselves. And if they push and just target this AC unit, it's also gonna die quite easily with that amount of units. But if they wait too long, there's gonna be too many units and with a lot of units it's much harder to micro them. So uh, either push right now or just switch to T2. Looks like Sir Price is gonna switch to T2. More T2 units uh, for party time, also some eco. And you can see that uh, this T2 force is much stronger since uh, pretty much all the units are shooting but the uh, majority of this army is out of the range just retreating. Also the T2 units are here in the back uh, bumping up into NGs. Party time is on gun upgrade, Sir Price is not on any upgrade yet. Man Raid already has a T2 and gonna get a gun so this is gonna be much um, hard target to kill and freedom fighter is getting stuff so i guess he's gonna get a gun as well so they are ahead they have right now i would say better army this t2 force looks much nicer and this is also the time when it's starting to be dangerous with the upgraded acu in the front maybe the gun if he, if he stays on the range but still he needs to pay a lot of attention and a lot of T2 units are still in the back and they will need some time to get in front through all these units and all the NGs so that's not gonna be very effective the army for another minute so party time is just overcharging right now but there are gonna be two gun ACUs and all these T2 units and this would be actually a very nice target for some overcharges but he needs to keep his army just behind his ACU let's see if we can see that not really, he's power stalling so that's sad but you can see one overcharge would kill at least 10 units 10 T2 units so that would be some insta veterancy for him I guess the um, bottom team really wasted their opportunity to win. Now they have also gun upgrade and going for T2. But there is gonna be a PD soon, and with all this T2 units, it's gonna be much harder to do anything. These T2 units are still out of position. Uh, party time might be a bit in a danger since all these T2 units can easily kill the ACU. It doesn't look too dangerous, but it is. And there's just too many T1 engines that are just blocking the way of the units. I guess the better thing would be to control K them right now. you can see it's really hard to manage army like this especially in this uh, narrow way so now they're pushing but or i would just say uh, sending the units in but you can see they're just streaming one by one quite a lot of the army is at the bottom quite a lot is in the back all the tt units are here and surprise just went too far ACU and he's gonna die but easily just too many units. When most of the T2, T2 units from bottom team are still out of the fight so not really the best micro from them and party time is gonna die now 
as well since there's just too many units and the two gun PCs. play another game and this game is gonna be against uh, TA for life and Olex that is gonna be much harder game for them let's look at it what they gonna do and uh, it should be on a high noon map if I remember correctly Okay, so it is high noon and looks like they also played with um, Echo Info mod, so we're gonna see all the economies, the actual numbers of resources in storage, which is nice. So Freedom Fighter is on the right side going for Seraphim, Manreed for UEF and both going for first bomber. Meanwhile Olex is here with Seraphim going for first land and second air and TA first land and no second factory plant yet I guess he will go for Hydro first bomber very like this so TA knows he knows what's gonna happen so they should be able to defend that easily and TA is already sending some scouts so he's gonna spot the bomber in time and I guess I would like to do uh, the same to send like one scout at this position then he is gonna he would see the bomber incoming so if you expect the first bomber you can just build a scout it's not that expensive So let's see, uh, TA should pick up this bomber so he's gonna know it's coming. So then he can just guess when it's gonna arrive and maybe dodge with the NG. Okay, so he definitely see saw that bomber. Uh, this one is out of the range so that can surprise Aulex a bit. So let's see what they gonna kill. Looks like first NG is down, there's already anti-air. Uh, one NG down for Aulex as well. And he has two anti-airs already and TA with stationary A solving the issue. Freedom Fighter is going, doing the right thing, just using the speed of the bomber, so going around, but actually going directly for the AA, but uh, this is unfortunate. Another three kills for the bomber, since this unit just found up at this spot. So four kills already, this NG is also in danger of dying. And Freedom Fighter is going for that. But also other thing by going first bomber is uh, to manage the rest, the base and not too many expanding right now for neither of the players so if you're going for that you also can't forget to expand and if you look at Freedom Fighter Eco he's just had too much energy uh, if you build a Hydra you will just waste energy so he needs to find some way to uh, spend all his energy and or just next time adjust that build since this isn't very efficient so 
so now he's gonna expand build a naval factory sending his ACU away so this bomber delayed the expansion for Alex and get, got some kills as well uh, but freedom fighter delayed himself with that as well so I can't say it was uh, too good for him Looks like Alex has no problems with that, he got P gens instead of Hydro, so he's fine with energy. Now when he finishes the Hydro he should have enough energy to support this air factory as well and NG expanding pretty much at the same time as uh, Freedom Fighters. And Manrin is building T1 tanks but that's not gonna be too good since they can't really uh, cross the water but Auroras can so I better solution would be to uh, rush naval factory and get some frigates before there is too many Auroras or he could focus heavily on air but that might be a bit dangerous since the UEF bombers tend to mist or another solution would be going uh, faster T2 land but I guess that takes a bit more time and the Frigates would be just a safer way to go. Alex is getting a T2 on his ACU, and there's quite a lot of energy and power storage as well. So they might be thinking about some ACU upgrades since they meeting at the beach here. Freedom Fighter is going, doing a good job with the artillery, he's gonna uh, deny this expansion for now and he's even trying to get it himself. TA is pushing directly in with his ACU, he has no upgrades. And there is a gun for Freedom Fighter. So it's gonna be T2 against the gun ACU but uh, you can always hide in water so like this NG is trying to reclaim the artillery but unsuccessful more artillery incoming and now frigate that should solve all the artillery issues and TA yeah, building quite a lot of uh, units it's gonna move them to the top and it's gonna be really annoying for Manrit he's gonna finish his um, factory right now so he's gonna get some riptides but also the ACU for TA is here and really nothing to defend this position also the base is quite vulnerable all the mechs can die easily no PDs or nothing that could stop this Avaras yet so he should have really went for the frigates to stop all these Avaras and Manrit is also getting a gun but I'm not sure what they gonna do with that since uh, Manrit is gonna be soon without base. Now T2 NG is out, but uh, the T2 NG isn't really needed. Uh, T1 P they would would do, do the job to stop the ACU. Okay. Now there is nothing to defend this aura with, and the Riptide is gonna take some time to be built. This Fibriot, if uh, Freedom Fighter doesn't forget about it, should be able to deal with this artillery easily. Also, he's doing a good job loading with this artillery. Alex is now coming with the ACU, he's gonna build a torpedo launcher since he has a T2, it's gonna be really fast, and that is gonna nicely deny this frigate. Well, fast if he has a mass for that, but looks like that's not the case. Yeah, and you can see just here, yeah, there's no issues uh, killing all these maxes. So, uh, Mandrid is just left with two mass extractors. 
and they can't really kill TA since uh, you can just hide in water and they already lost one base uh, looks like the first Riptide is finally built but there's just so many units and I'm not sure if it's gonna work also this base is quite vulnerable to all these auroras and submarine from TA denying these subs as well and now Lex is gonna push directly for the base so the uh, plan with the first bomber was nice but uh, then some couple of bad decisions like uh, going these guns that is quite useless right now and no naval so the Riptide is actually killing the Auras for now but uh, no mass left for Manry, he just needs to pause his production and try to rebuild those maxes again. But even this Riptide can die to all these Auroras and looks like it's gonna die to them. Unless it gets some more veterans in. Okay, and it's dead and there's nothing to defend anymore, just one PD. Alex looks also quite safe and has much more units. The eco for Freedom Fighter is dying as well. Now he's gonna have T2 AC come in his base. The A has some issues with this two gun ACUs, but he already killed this base, so uh, he's ahead and he can just take this new base instead and also killing quite a lot from Freedom Fighter's base. So it doesn't really look good for the right team. And yes, you can play against AI, just uh, host a custom game and instead of players click on it and add AI Sorian for example, you can play with that without any issues. Okay, so TA is gonna move his ACU to this new base, he's gonna take it. Uh, the T2 factor is down, I'm not sure if that get killed or just control K to get some mass. And really nothing to stop this push so this looks like game one for Avlex and TA. TA is gonna most likely lose his base but there's still Avlex with all these things and they're gonna just get a new base on the right side. They even having problems to kill this base with two ACUs and guns since there are some defenses and more units streaming in. But I guess uh, that's gonna be just better anti for now. They don't have overcharge, so they take some time to kill the PDs. But it will eventually die. Here MTA is just gonna get a new base right now. The artillery will kill these PDs easily. The energy storage is gonna go down soon as well. Alex already with a new base. So well played for them. So they're gonna go to final when they're gonna face uh, Matthew and Silent if I remember correctly. It's gonna be in the next game I'm gonna cast once these two guys die, it should be really soon. But they're gonna get some veterans first. Uh, at least they can practice some dancing, bridging, artillery and everything. Like 
freedom fighter is about to die soon if he doesn't touch too much artillery. And getting a veteran too. Down, another one gonna follow soon. Actually, Mercy is so uh, and deciding to snipe the ACU. It's gonna be a really close one. Uh, can Manry really defend against the Mercy or not? Will he be able to build the anti air in time? Mercy is incoming, still no anti-air started, and... Oh, fucking snipes. Yeah, so, T and Alex winning this game thanks to the snipe. Uh, well, good for them, they did manage to win. And let's go to check the final. Also, I have a question for all of you who are watching, since um, I was playing in the uh, over 1800 division and all those games are uploaded on my YouTube channel already from my point of view. So the question is if uh, it's enough for you guys to look at it like that or you want me to cast them all as well. Uh, you still have some time to decide, I guess an hour before um, this final ends so you can write in chat and let me know if you want to see that cast it or not so that's up to you so the first game is gonna be point of reach uh, Mephi is going for Seraphim and Silent is Aeon Aulex is Seraphim and TA Aeon, so same factions for, for both players. And since this is a big map, let's speed it up a bit. So basically uh, six main islands. Uh, this looks like uh, it's much get much easier for the top team to secure this one since it's so close and for the bottom team to secure this one on the right side so unless there is some really fast unexpected drop and uh, that should uh, split the map in half well okay so it looks like this is gonna be a longer game so you have even more time to decide, but I need some opinions. So Mephi is sending his ACU expand here. He's gonna build a factory and then I guess he's gonna cross the water and try to secure the island with his ACU and building a factory with NGs. So it might be a bit later on air, since there is already air 40A, but he's building scouts for now. Um, also the distance is quite big, so it's gonna take some time to cross for any bomber or transport. But it's some advantage. Let's see what they're gonna do with that. Um, meanwhile, Silent has already air factory. He went for second, uh, second land, I guess and soon more F factory is gonna follow and he's going for fast transport if i can say fast so he might try to get this expansion but uh Olex is already sending the acu there
so transport is being loaded but it was also scouted and Alex is already on case with the inti so he will force uh, Silent to drop so nicely countered from him and he has two inti so he should be able to kill this scout uh, I mean the transport so no early drop is gonna happen and he should be able to secure this island easily looks like TA is not even trying to do that and going for navy instead So going st directly for frigates and actually now he's moving his ACU somewhere in the middle. So he might try to get some more factories there, we will see. And also need a factory for Aulex. And he is already with the ACU at this expansion so that's gonna be secured for him. And looks like more early air for bottom team, so they can try to go some bombers or maybe T2 air and start gunships. Silent is again trying to get a transport, but uh, Aulex still has some inties over his base, so not sure how long that's gonna live. Yeah, and the minimap can be uh, enabled over here, this button, enable with resources and some other ranges and everything is over there, so that's what you can do. So you have some extra intel and you see all the ranges that you need. So frigate already for TA, that's gonna deny this artillery is or should deny and he's actually going with a drop he will try to get some base at this position and some artillery for Aulex as well gonna might be able to kill these mixes maybe the NG as well and silent is didn't go for navy yet now he has his first factories and this transport is gonna die again so can't really use them bomber is killing these units so that looks like some early advantage for ta and aulex uh, but uh, this ng is gonna get killed by the artillery ta is Looks like he's gonna just move the ACU directly in without any upgrades or anything. And engines are getting killed by this frigate, so it's denying the early navy. This artillery might be able to kill the factory, and these two frigates could potentially. Uh, kill this as well. Uh, nice bombers from Aulex. Uh, damaging the power so next bomber can easily kill it. And there will be quite a lot of pigeons down. Uh, hopefully he's gonna send a bomber there. Uh, more raiding from TA. But this frigate should be countered easily. And a single hour round, that is also annoying might be able to kill these two Maxus and the radar so Alex is gonna have to send some extra NG and something to kill it looks like he has already some T2 Maxus mm, just T1 Navy for now meanwhile TA I guess uh, no T2 Maxus yet also one artillery sneak through so might do some damage TA trying to drop again, but uh, the artillery is here that should be easily countered by Mephi and killing all the engines before the PD is finished. TA reclaiming from underwater all the units. 
that goes around his ACU. Uh, Silent defended successfully, but uh, this unit um, basically raided right this island, so his two max is down. And I guess this frigate could stay there to do some more damage. And Econ is like also some T2 maxes, third max on the way. And Mephi also have two maxes already. And another drop from TA, but unfortunately that's, that's uh, right next to the ACU, so the Pinch is also not gonna live too long. And still looks like more air for bottom team, but actually Mephi is also have his own air so depends if these two guys keep their air together and they should be able to win the air fight and looks like that's what they gonna do so air is secured for uh, bottom team uh, no t2 Air yet for TM, he's going for T2 Navy and for T2 uh, Land, so some low T units are definitely the option. He's going for Blazers and some ships, gonna be also nice addition to Navy if he wants to. And AC is still quite in the front, uh, just walking around. Uh, scouting for now and more navy for outlets and he's actually fighting Mephi's navy and he should easily win it but he's leaving the right lot of in this position and the question is if he's gonna secure it as well and so he's already with two islands looks like he has the best eco Mephi is not too behind him and TA and Silent uh, looks the same. Well, Silent has a bit more mass right now since he was egoing, and TA is still on T1 Maxes, as far as I can see. But trying to get both T2 Navy and T2 Land, and it's, it's at least the Navy cost quite a lot of mass, so I guess he should have done some T2 Maxes first. But he's building engines right in front, trying to get the reclaim. I mean, engines pretty much all over the map. And D2 Navy now for Mephi, so Seraph and Destroyer, that's gonna be a nice counter to all these floaty units. And also, you can easily might out micro Aeon Destroyer if he wants to. He can just dodge the shots and kill it if he knows how to do it and if he will have time for that. Aurex is on a T2 upgrade and he's actually establishing a nice base over there with shield and power so better not lose this one. Also a T2 land HQ and I guess yeah this factory is also in T2 so it's slightly ahead of Mephi and another air fight is gonna happen and this time I don't see too many too much air from TA so this might go better for top team and again this air fight is happening over this island which pretty much well I can't say it really belongs to Mafi since TA is fighting over that successfully. Still some reclaim left in this position and someone is still PMing me. So now Air is actually one for two team. Uh, but uh, not sure if that's gonna decide too much since there are just T1 air factories so no gunships yet. They might use some bombers more but uh, TA will not stop with Bombers even when he doesn't have air right now. And actually quite a lot of T2 and T1 units are still pretty much everywhere so he's doing a really good job denying this island. 
Uh, on the other side, uh, Silent is not so successful. He is behind of Avalex quite a lot. But he basically, well, give, gave him this island for free. Uh, he was trying to get the transport, but it didn't really work. He could maybe also move the ACU or uh, start the Navy sooner as DA. And on the Ikron, Aulex is still ahead and TA actually catching up, I guess. Some T2 Max already upgrading more and also he's catching up since he's slowly capturing these islands and getting the reclaim. Let's actually check the reclaim. For TA it's almost 3000, uh, Silent just 1000, Mephi almost 2000, so TA is ahead in reclaim and 2000 for Ablex. So uh, the lack of eco doesn't matter too much since he yeah, got some of the extra reclaim and he still has NGs pretty much everywhere so he might get even more. Uh, I have to go AFK for a minute I guess nothing major is gonna happen so I'll be right back. So I'm back. I guess I haven't missed uh, too much. So right now it's some reinforce for Silent, but these two destroyers are gonna kill it easily. So the subs would work against the frigate sooner, but uh, this is too late in the game. And when there are destroyers already, the submarines has pretty much no chance. Destroyer for Murphy, actually two destroyers as well. So. Uh, similar forces, but there's extra T2 sub for TA and looks like he's gonna support Alex on the right side Meanwhile T2 air for TA as well He's trying to get the air control, but and there are still too many inties for Mephi And Mephi actually raiding with artillery again but now there's a destroyer that should secure this side easily and some blazers still pretty much everywhere okay so Alex is gonna push at the top with his two destroyers and some tanks well, I guess this would be a chance to push he's doing a good job in this island again and there's not too much navy for Salon again just uh, one destroyer so he might as well just come in and kill it but I guess he would need some air support for that since now there are gunships not sure if he saw that or not but he can always build a floaty flag and send it with his army looks like he already has some on this side destroyers are cleaning for now some torpedo launchers and also uh, 
Hover flight for TA. So far just with one destroyer and he got another submarine and retreating with this one. And actually Aulex is killing Mephis Air and using torpedo bombers. So Mephi is forced to retreat, looks like he managed to recapture at least this part of the island and still have a few minutes to defend this side but now the destroyer can also shoot there so it's gonna be harder to maintain. I guess Mephi could also do the same and bring some uh, flak over the water, not really necessary to go for a cruiser yet but that's also a nice addition and actually Aulet now retreating he can submerge his destroyers if he wants to so they don't take any unnecessary damage and this is actually a T2 air for silence so he might be able to kill this air force from Aulet easily but looks like most of the gunships died already And now T2 tanks in the base there might be able to kill this destroyer and maybe kill the NG to uh, slow down the production. More torpedo bombers this time from Silent and it's like he's killing this destroyer, it could be submerged and that's what uh, Aulex should do and Aulex just keep egoing so he has the best eco for now and TA is still behind it's like he didn't eco too much but he still has his NGs so he's getting the reclaim at least now if Matthew wants to save the destroyers he will have to dodge these shots but he's not doing that and he needs to be also running since all these T2 tanks are coming one destroyer got killed and Silent is gonna come in with his submarines also some T2 submarines and destroyers and focusing more on the navy and he has also quite nice eco so despite the fact not having this extra island he still has decent eco And now it actually looks like there's more units for TA. Uh, Aulex also... Well, Aulex doesn't have too many, just uh, two destroyers right now. There's starting to be quite a lot of reclaim in the middle. And it's like TA is already on a case to reclaim that. A lot of submarines. Uh, but submarines should be killed by those destroyers easily. Like this one is submerged finally. And now TA is forced to retreat. Um, the left side looks like Mephi is securing this island, so it's catching up with Eco again. Let's see what's going on in the base. Uh, some more T2 maxes for TA. He lost his maxes on this side looks that might be some uh, frigate or maybe some extra artillery Aulex also with a lot of T2 maxes uh, not going for T3 air or anything like that yet there's uh, quite a lot of T2 pigeons ASU is in front and he got a TML so let's see the range of it uh, he can try to kill a few of those mechs, um, but not sure. Well, this one is also killed. So, a few of those mechs can die to TML, but not the best range on it on this map. Uh, 
and with all this uh, flag is secure in the air for him for now and bring his destroyers okay so two destroyers are breaking through but i guess not for a long time one is already down second one is submerged so you can't really do too much damage with that and also now Matthew is bringing his destroyers so this should be successfully defended for him yeah, and this is quite a lot of swift wings so they're just gonna clean the air the flag is behind so that won't matter too much T2 uh, naval factory on the right side as well and the building cruisers So the battle was won on this side pretty much for top team, so Cylon should send already some NGs to reclaim this. He has quite a lot of NGs there ready. Uh, still two more destroyers are left, but um, they are quite heavily damaged. Now some of the TML is flying, should be able to kill these maxes. Some are already down. And he actually pushing to the main production of uh, Mephi and with bombers looks like he killed the NGs and HQ is most likely gonna go down uh, looks like Mephi he got quite a lot also T2 Maxis on this island uh, but since he's losing naval I'm not sure how he's gonna defend it since all these uh, floaty tanks and destroyers are gonna kill this island easily and also the main island is in danger he's going for a more artillery spawn but I guess that's not gonna really work against blazes and more T2 tanks as well that's a better solution This, some of these submarines are alive and now four destroyers so Cylon looks like he's gonna launch attack on this island and there's not too much to stop him right now and actually if he gets in range and kill all the power that might be really bad for our legs his ASU is also a bit in the front so let's see how he's gonna defend that he just killed this factory and now it's going around the island so we should be able to kill this easily uh, Mephi is now leading an eco game but not having too much power I guess just enough so no one is really going for T3 air yet T2 air for TA and more navy This store is fine, I'm stopping. So um, it's getting over this island. Him, I get under the shield, kill them with those tanks, and kill the rest with the navy. So Alex might actually lose his power, and doesn't look like he has power on the main island. Yeah, and Silent is focusing that, so power is gonna go down for Alex. 
let's see how much it's gonna hurt him. He already has just enough power, but already lost one I one region. And now we're using gunships to defend. So first destroyer is gonna go down. I guess the better uh, position would be over here. Like, or maybe not. Oh, that would be better. So that hill is much bigger than it looked like. So he actually killed just one gen. And now he's forced to retreat since there are just too many units right now. Yeah.